two chains. Yeah. Come yeah. with me and you'll see what a the? world of two chains imagination. Two chains. Bleh. Well, if there's three. Hello, Skipper. Hello, Navigator. Half a minute to go. Okay. Oh, hey guys, and welcome back to Baboon Yodel. I don't even know what another episode it is, but Ed's shaking his head already off to a terrible start. It's not enough energy. Uh, hey guys, <laughs> oh, I've had a long day. No, I'm, no, I'm good. I'm good, guys. I'm good. Welcome to Baboon Yodel. Uh, welcome back. If you're a treasured listener, we welcome you with open ears. I am Susie Cable, apparently. Uh, no, I'm Renee Church. Uh, Edamon, across from me. How you going? I'm good. He's had a haircut. Oh, yeah. I'm a bald bitch. He's a bald asshole. <laughs> I'm a bald asshole. Larry David. Sh- shout out to uh, Larry David. I'm a bald asshole with long balls. All right. Larry Long Balls. You haven't seen that episode? Oh, maybe I have. Uh, I've seen, I have seen them all, but it's been a long time. You should. You're not a true fan then. I need to rewatch. I definitely mm. need to brush up. Yeah. Something you can't do is brush your hair anymore. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. People use their hands on my head to feel the brush because oh. my hair feels like the brush now. Oh, yeah, because it's so like bristle, you know, like short. What? Bristly? Is that what Bristly? I mean? Is that what they mean? I Bristol. Br- no, Isn't it's it a, place. a town? It's a place. <laughs> like bristly. Like bristle. 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 No, bristol. <laughs> it's bristol the T is silent. Isn't bristle it? and bristol. Uh, two different words. Isn't bristles like like the cutting of the yeah. penis? Yeah. These are four very different <laughs> things. One's your head, one's a brush, one's a town, and one's a Jewish like tradition. All right. Circumcision yes. on the nose. Yes. Yeah. No, but you shaved your head for cancer. <laughs> Not for cancer, for kids. Oh, for kids. Right. Sorry. <laughs> People usually shave their kids for... Uh, they shave their kids. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's People a, usually shave their kids. <laughs> Whoa. That's the religious tr- tradition. Whenever uh, your pubes <laughs> come in a bit early, uh, you got your pubes shaved. Shave your kids. <laughs> shave your kids. As soon as there's hair, shave them. <laughs> no, I, I did it for save the children. Oh, yes. Not shave the children. No, save the save children. The children. <laughs> but my hashtag on my work thing was uh, shave for kids. That's awesome. Yeah, hashtag shave for kids. That's so good. So I did, uh, what, what did I do? So I'm going on a trip in Ethiopia to raise money for Save the Children. And I have a target of money to collect, to give to Save the Children. Mm-hmm. And uh, to get to that target, I've been doing different things. I had the comedy show that you have all have heard about. Yeah. Uh, that was a smashing success. And then... I did some raffles and then shave, shaved my head. You've committed to this. You've done well. You've put on comedy shows. You've shaved your head. You've done heaps. Guess man. what? Guess what my target is. What? Ten thousand dollars. That's a good target. That's I believe you can get there. Yeah. If you guys are out there, donate some money. Yeah, just donate. It's for the kids, man. It's for like, the kids. Uh, uh, go to the go, go to my uh, uh, thingy thing in the set, but it do to predator. I'm <laughs> having just, a stroke. Should we just like? <laughs> Put it in later. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, it's in um, you know on my link on my uh, personal Instagram. Uh, yeah. Ed on Ed, you can go there and check it out and just uh, give a pound or two. You know, it's in pounds, Great British pounds. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna do that. And, Bristol uh, pounds. <laughs> get bristly pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so good. Yeah, you look you look so different with shaved hair. Yeah, we're gonna put we're gonna share the pictures. Yeah, gonna share the pictures before and, and after. Oh, I've got before and after. Yeah. Oh, honey, uh, oh, I've got the yeah. got the receipts. Yeah, I'm gonna be a, 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 a Instagram star. Are you? Is it gonna yeah. go viral? Yeah, yeah. Like the you know the fat Jewish. You, you know yeah, the fat Jewish. Yeah. I'd be like the fat Muslis. Musli. <laughs> that sounds like you're saying muesli. <laughs> <laughs> the fat muesli. That sounds yum. Fat Muslim. Yeah, you're fat. You're M- not fat. Muslim. Muslish, Islamic, Muslish. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. Like uh, the, but it's so hard to get in in the Western world. It's very hard to raise money. You always have to <laughs> do shit. <laughs> you know? They always want you to humiliate yeah. yourself. I can't like. just. I can't just say that. Oh, this. These are the kids who are dying in Africa, and then there's things happening in Yemen, and there's things happening Not in, in Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> of course, in Yemen, there's uh, things happen- There's things happening in Myanmar. There's child forced child marriage and blah blah, blah many things. 
uh, and I just need some money to help these kids. Mm. But people don't just give it. I have to do something uh, for people's um, entertainment to gain the generosity to give the money. So then I was analyzing analyzing it recently. The so for instance, I put on a charity show, mm. right? People give money. That money goes to charity. I put on the show. I worked hard for the show. Yeah. They paid me the money to watch the show, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they paid me and I gave them a service. And I, instead of keeping that money to myself, gave it to charity. Yeah. So I'm doing the charitable thing. Those guys yeah. are just getting a service out of the money <laughs> that they gave. Those guys are just doing a comedy show. Yeah. But you, you're doing the charity. Yeah, but then oh, everybody is feeling like, oh, I donated to charity. You don't donate to charity. You saw a comedy show <laughs> with the money that you gave. You just, we, you paid for a comedy show. It's That's just the literally what you do every time you see a comedy show is you give your money away. <laughs> you, you just, uh, you know, I don't know. Interesting, eh? It's interesting. And then the raffle. But it's thanks to everyone who came to the show and gave the money. It's just a different way of working here in, yeah. uh, here in New Zealand. I don't mind. It's good. It's uh, total fun to do all these things. And How does it work in other places that you've experienced? Well, it, in for, I'm from Pakistan. Yeah. And so you just, uh, just say that there are problems and people will give money. Yeah. You don't have to... In Pakistan recently, there was like a dam fund. Pakistan needed to build a dam. Was it the Dam Daniel Fund? Yeah. Dam Daniel. Oh, okay. And so people just, if people hear people about something, don't, they will pe donate. People don't, donate, you know. So that that's actual donation, mm. you know. So if I uh, raise, like a lot of people act just, just donate, you know. If you, you you must have seen those uh, give a little pages yeah, yeah. where people just donate. You know, you put on a cause and people donate. You don't have to do anything, yeah. right? So, yeah, with other things, you have to do something. So, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a cultural difference. Mm -hmm. I, I totally embrace it. I love it. Yeah. It's great. But it's it's kind of a weird way to look at it. It is, eh? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, I think because I'm so used to it. Like, in New Zealand, I don't know if, I don't know if you've um, been here for when they did them because they did them quite a few years ago, but they do telethons, you know, telethons. Yeah. We used to, like in the 90s or the 80s or whatever, we used to have a lot of them mm. and they'd be raising money for like kids and stuff. Mm. But it was like a big shebang with like celebrities mm. and weird gimmicky prank yeah. deer thing, you know, like just heaps of different there'll antics. Comedy set and somebody will like come and sing and yeah, people yeah, will, there'll be yeah. celebrities on the phone, yeah. like the, the Jerry uh, Lewis uh, telethon oh, that yeah. used to happen in the US. Yeah. So I, I completely understand because people, it's easier for people to engage in that kind of activity yeah. if there's something happening, like uh, Live Aid um, Freddie, Mercury. Freddie Mercury thing that happened. Mm. You know, people just you know, they had to put on a big show, but it raised so much money. They literally had to get Queen back together. <laughs> like, they were not together and they got them back together for live aid. Yeah. I've so seen that, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. That was, what's that? Was, 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 um, it was yeah. okay. It was okay. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. My mum liked it and my grandma liked it. So. Well, you're all, but you're, you just all like, I mean, if you like Mamma Mia, you like everything else. <laughs> so it's okay. true. And that's true. <laughs> To tell me I'm wrong. I was actually thinking the other day that Mamma Mia 2 made 2018 for me. Really? Yeah. Mom, 2000, I think? Yeah, it made the entire year. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, for me, getting Big Wednesday was there. <laughs> well, maybe that will make my 2000 and I don't know, 21. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> well, and I, I, think, I, I think people don't. People don't really know yeah. what Big Wednesday is. It's like a comedy thing, you know. You, it's a lotto. You, you start with Raw, and then you get uh, you get better. You work hard, and then uh, you get promoted to a Big Wednesday spot, which is quite good. I got a summer Raw coming up. All right, That's hell cool. yeah! Ten p.m. spot. Ten p.m. spot. And the heat, heat, heat. Six of the minutes. Night. Yeah. All right. That's cool. That is great. What else? What have you been up to this what week? What have you been doing? We we had roast battle. Let's I, talk. Let's talk I, about that. I crushed your oh, ass oh. in the ground, yeah, it really did and then that. I sprinkled it on my burger, and then I smashed that burger in the face, and then I went home and shit that burger <laughs> out, and you were dead. This okay, I can confirm this was all true. <laughs> this all <laughs> happened. Oh my god! No, it was so fun. Man, no, it was, it was awesome. It wasn't. It wasn't like I. I was just. Uh, 
how do you say hyping myself it wasn't no, that it, it was, was a, like it was quite a, close it was a fair win though i reckon yeah. you came prepared you had some good burns it was yeah. good man it was so funny yeah it was so fun i went a bit creative i didn't want to go all lady i only had one vagina joke <laughs> right. and i only have one vagina so yeah. <laughs> makes sense and uh, <laughs> 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 one for one uh, But I went for a height And I went after your boyfriend I don't know how, well, why, who, why, why Who was wouldn't that? though to be honest <laughs> It's an easy know, target That joke went really well Because I went for your boyfriend And then it I said that it was kind of punishment for you <laughs> uh, People don't really understand what was that the, What was the roast? Because like I So it, it was the roast that um, People don't be mad if you're listening. It was uh, uh, in the heat of roast battle. So I said, uh, Renee, um, <laughs> I forgive you. Um, your ancestors fucked me or fucked my country. Uh, but now Angel Jordan fucks you. <laughs> That's punishment enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is good this is good yeah, so that that was a joke it's yeah, hilarious right, and yeah. oh roast battle was so fun it was a really great night everyone brought their a game too yeah Matty fleet won congratulations yeah. matthew fleet yeah it was so good so good i i really enjoyed the experience but i wasn't expecting to win and so i hadn't written anything for uh the final battle and it's good that i wasn't selected for the final battle yeah otherwise i would be bombing that's the kind of the cool thing about roast is that when you get your um, if you get your first round over with and you don't win, you can just relax for the rest of the show mm. and just enjoy it. You don't need to worry about it. But it's also fun participating in the finals and stuff too. So let's tell our listeners. So, so Roast Battle is just like, uh, it's all comedians. Everything is allowed. Anything can be said. Mm-hmm. You can't be violent and you can't steal other people's material, yeah. right? And uh, what happens is that you go face to face, head to head, and then you tell roasty jokes for each other. And then um, then a, a few judges just uh, In discuss. In our case, Keegan uh, and a drag queen. <laughs> yeah, JK. JK was She cool, was so man. good, man. She was so funny. She, kept she was asking so me. professional. <laughs> she came back in the green room, shook everybody's hand and said, you guys were great. Really good. <laughs> she kept asking me. She's like, oh, where are your parents? Are you lost? <laughs> and I was like, that's so funny. Yeah, that's, that's a good roast. That's so good. I should have been on stage. At, she was uh, great. Yeah, she was great. Um, and, but she voted for you. She, uh, yeah, so she, was, she liked me. Yeah, I liked it. but she told me that oh, you had good creative ones. <laughs> I was like, okay, I had good creative ones. You did though. You won fair and square. And square I yeah, I quite like the the my most favorite one out of these was the most light one, mm. the one uh, about the surrogate, you know, burden on Ernie. That one. Oh, that was That's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's it's such a fun. Um, it's so fun. I remember if you guys probably don't know Sheen Mansell. He's a Christchurch comedian. Legend. Sh- Sheen Mansell. He smashed it the other day. He is beyond Christchurch. He lived his life like a candle in the wind. <laughs> um, but he rose to me once uh, at Rose Battle in Christchurch, and he said he asked me if like my mum. Um, like tucks my pants my shirt into my pants every morning or something and it was like the funniest <laughs> thing i've ever <laughs> that's cool so that yeah that was the week my week was you know just fundraising and yeah. shit wow ooh, we kind of halfway what are we doing we're just we're just 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 gabbing. just uh, just, uh, just uh, uh chopping the bit and the kicking the nut well how how do you spinning Shaving a yarn the head. Spinning a yarn. Yeah, spinning a yarn. There's so. been a lot more happening uh, outside of our own little worlds, right. although we are very important and yeah. we had to update you. Um, but yeah, there's been a few things. We've got a couple of things to talk about. Today. Let me uh, let me start with the awards. The awards. Right? The awards, right? The biggest the best, award the in the world. The best shaved head. <laughs> Eat them on. <laughs> the best shaved. It's not skinhead no. shaved. It's nice buzz cut head shave. Yeah. But you can see that when I was growing up, nobody gave a shit about the back of my head because it's flat as a <laughs> highway. No one gave a shit about the back of your head? Yeah, nobody. Nobody cradled it properly. Oh. Everybody was like, oh, oh. flatten it up, motherfucker. <laughs> this kid doesn't deserve anything. So 
I just put you on a plank of wood. Anyway, it's a flat, it's a flat head at the back, but it's okay. I feel good. I feel the air in my hair. You're so aerodynamic now. Yeah, yeah. I can win the uh, race to the fridge. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I believe you. <laughs> so yeah, so bi- the biggest award in the world is uh, which one? Can the, you tell me the the, the Nobel Prize? Yeah. Yay! So. Those, so the Nobel Prizes were given out, you know. It's uh, it's a great prize where you where you get a gold star. No, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's it's a global prize. It's I, I think I feel it's one of the prizes that gets the most uh, um, respect in the world. So there's like f- I think five awards, which is one's physics, physics, chemistry, um, medicine, a piece, and literature. Okay, right. Okay, okay. So, the, um, the, but the most important one that is considered by people, the most important one is the Peace Prize. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying P-I-S-S, I'm saying P-E-A-C-E. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I believe you. So, um, thank you for clearing that up. This, I just spit on the mic. Oh. Mm. Anyway, so, uh, the... It was this time. There were two. Uh, it was shared by two people. It and was shared. <laughs> <laughs> it was shared for her uh, b- uh, 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 big, g- g- great role in Candle. No, Mamma oh, Mia. Oh my I god, the movie is not Elton John. <laughs> it's Ebba. Get it right. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'll tell you. So uh, the priest prize went to. Nadia Murad, mm-hmm. who is a um, person from Iraq. She and um, I think it was Dennis. I forgot his name. I'll tell you now. I'm just, it's just slipping my head. Yeah, Dennis. Dennis Mukwege. So um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And uh, they, they won the award. And why? Why? They, won, they, 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 they they kind of advocated um, the treatment or support of women who get sexually assaulted during wartime. Right. Oh, right. okay. So they, they offered support for those women. Oh, they advocated. They did different things. Yeah. So uh, Mukwege, he is from s- Central uh, DRC. What is it? Democratic... Republic of Congo. Okay. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pull that out. Ooh, yeah. Democratic Republic of Congo. So that, so he, so he he helped uh, sexually abused women from war. Obviously, DRC. He helped sexually abused women from war. Is that what you no, said? No, he helped sexually abused <laughs> oh, he, <laughs> women from war. <laughs> the D is important. <laughs> the D E D is sense. important. Um, okay. And, so and uh, he opened a hospital and uh, around and there's a, always a civil war going on in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I don't know why it's called Democratic Republic of Congo. It's not that democratic. And um, him and Nadia Murad, who is a Yazidi person who follows the Yazidi religion from uh, Iraq, and she got it for her advocate, advocacy work um, for people who were. Sexually assaulted during the ISIS thing. Oh right! You know this. Yeah. It's so it's it's a great cause and it's quite a timely cause at the moment. Definitely, really yeah. good work being being Man, done. Man, these guys sure. did some great great stuff, and so and they they are the ones that are gonna get some good uh, uh, good props. They'll get like five hundred thousand dollars each. Awesome! Yeah. They can like put that towards for doing more cause. stuff. That's so good. And the nice certificate. Ooh, that's a good. That's good for the office. You yeah, know? <laughs> it's good for the office. Quite nice. You got to put it on the side. If yeah. somebody comes in the office, say, oh, "Fuck you!" Look at that. I got a oh, Nobel. No. I'm Look peaceful. I'm the most Nobel. peaceful this year. <laughs> um, yes. Do you remember last year when Bob Dylan got nominated for it? Yeah, he and got, he just denied it, and they're like, "Bob Dylan is not returning our calls. We don't know where yeah. he is." He got it for literature, and he still has it. I mean, he he might have not turned up or something. Uh, I think he accepted it. He accepted it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was he was quite out of action for a while. He goes uh, MIA like 90% of the time. Yeah, definitely. He just goes off and does his own thing. It's uh, it's a great... And the, 
a first woman after 55 years got a award in physics. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, I did hear that. Uh, she did some laser shit. I have no idea. I was reading about the Lasers. thing and I was like, fuck, I don't understand any of that. But it is groundbreaking work, which yeah. is fantastic. Some laser shit is great. I didn't and realize that there were multiple like sections of the Nobel Prize. I thought there was just one that one person got, but I didn't realize it was actually like, you know, yeah, genres. The, the, the history is that uh, Nobel was a crazy guy. Mm. His name was Alfred Nobel and he was an armament engineer. So he used to invent weapons and stuff. He invented uh, um, just ballistics and uh, dynamite. Wow. Right? So, But he was, you know, he liked physics, chemistry, and medicine and all that. So right, he, he right. did all these awards. And then he allegedly he invented the peace award because he wanted to offset the thing, the shit that he was doing with the armament stuff. You know, because... <laughs> smart, like, very smart. Yeah. So he... He did that and now... But there's a lot of shitty people who have got this award in the past. Oh, really? Who? Hey. You know. Um, Robert Mugabe. <laughs> you know Robert Mugabe? Did we talk about Robert Mugabe? Maybe. From Zimbabwe. Right at the start. I think it was one of the first episodes that we talked about him. He's a guy who has a Hitler, Hitler mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, he said something about Hitler, I think. <laughs> so he got it. He, he's oh a crazy God. guy in Zimbabwe. He got a peace prize and then they took it away, I think. Revoked. Later. Yeah. And then Aung San Suu Kyi, the lady in, uh, in Myanmar, she got it for fighting against the military and doing things for peace. Uh, but now she's doing shit for the Rohingya people and then she's ignoring everything. So, oh. so I've always thought that whenever it was, it's given for political reasons, it always turns to shit. If it's given to regular nice people who do good stuff, then it's always fine. If it's given to like a writer or a physicist, yeah. it should be fine. Most of the time, not always. Yeah. But. So the peace prize is for people who do something for peace. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You give it to, they gave it to Barack Obama. It's fine, you know, but he hadn't done anything by that time. No, you know, yeah, He just yeah. did a speech in Egypt and said, like, oh, we're going to do it. Man, man, man. <laughs> and then he got the thing and he didn't do shit for peace. Um, so, um, he was a great president, but you know, it, we miss uh, him dearly. But yeah, but he didn't deserve the, uh, Nobel. No. Well, his, uh, Michelle Obama's just released a book and apparently it sold like 20 million copies or something already. All right. It, it was definitely would, it would definitely be a successful thing. Yeah, for sure. Or, I mean, Michelle Obama writes a book. I mean, it's like a, I want to be like a person who's whatever I do, I know that it is definitely going to be making me a multi-millionaire oh 100 like <laughs> hey michelle obama do you want to write the book it's like mm, do i feel like making just, um 18 million dollars today yes yeah. okay sure <laughs> just credit me a little bit don't 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 even say that michelle obama and ed amon don't say it like that just say michelle obama and then you know when people write under their name like mba bsc yeah, yeah, yeah. just write ed <laughs> at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> so funny I'll just get that in the, Just get I a few residues Yeah Residuals <laughs> For the lay person <laughs> You could have just said The lay person <laughs> word. No nah, I just wanted to say residues Residues Do you think our, our listeners Are quite uh, hip Yeah Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Now I've been listening to um, uh, You Made It Weird with Pete Holmes Oh that's and a he good, like uh, He does a lot of like abbreviations of words oh he does that quite a lot he's a hip hip dude he's very hip he's a hip dude hip dude happening he knows what's up so yeah that's so this is one of the biggest awards now the the other <laughs> award that is uh w one of the big it's you know everybody is going to give a person of the year thing so a uh, funny thing that i was recently today learning you we have no idea i don't think you had read about it but um, time magazine announced a person of the year Right, they oh, do it yeah, every yeah. year, right? Mm -hmm. So they, what they do just before it, they always put out like a, a poll for the public to okay. vote, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they put they put the poll out to choose uh, a person for a person of the year. N number one was b the K-pop band BTS. Really, P people chose the K-pop band BTS <laughs> as a time person of the year. I was like, okay, what what what, what have they done? They just sing songs. They're and really it. big, though, eh? They're a big they're cult huge. Hit. They really like they've crossed over like Western. Yeah. You know? They're, but for the time person, time of, the person year? of the year, it's crazy. And there were the other things um, in in that category were. Um, 
uh, the the cave divers. Remember the cave oh, yeah, divers yeah, yeah. in Thailand? Yeah. Not Elon Musk. He didn't get nominated. <laughs> no, no, he oh, didn't okay. get nominated. But he, the cave yeah, divers. Yeah. That's important. That's, That's cool. so that was a good nomination. <laughs> and then Mohammed bin Salman. I don't know why he got. Um, nominated that dude from Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia right. we talked about it before yep. he's a douchebag and um, no he's not yeah he is he's, mm. a, g- <laughs> he, he's a big, big douchebag anyway I'm not going to Saudi Arabia recent, uh, in the near future so yeah. it's fine and um, so that and there was some crazy things on the list however Time Magazine looked at that and I was like Jesus people are crazy um, so they chose their own they chose the journalists yeah. So they called it the Guardians and they made like the group encompasses the people who journalists who are in captivity. Yeah. The journalists who are captured in third world countries by their despots and they are in jail. Yeah. So there's Al Jazeera journalists in Egypt and Jamal Khashoggi who got assassinated in this crazy thing that happened in Turkey in the Turkish in the Saudi We'll talk about that in another episode as well. Um, but uh, so, yeah, that that was another another award. But It's th- crazy they can, like, nominate groups. I thought it was the person of the year, not the group of the year. They've been doing it. Last year was Me Too. Oh, yeah. oh that's not even a person. Yeah, that was a... This is a th- movement. Yeah, that was the person of the year, Me Too. I like women. Oh, you know, oh that okay. was the person well, of the year. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So that, that, that was the one. And then, I mean, Hitler's been... To that on that and uh, the people who have made some influence, you mm. know, change the world better or worse. Yeah, than, you know, which is an interesting concept because that really encompasses everyone. Yeah, it's not just like. But praising. fucking BTS hasn't changed <laughs> anything. <laughs> no, they haven't. They're, they're, they're not. They're not big enough to impact my life. Like I know they exist, but they haven't like truly crossed over to like ha- like your mum doesn't know about them. You know what I mean? Like it's when your mum starts knowing about pop yeah. people, it's like, oh, that's that. I thought you were just about to roast me saying your mum. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> all of them. I'm yeah, all the mums. All the mums in the world. Yeah. So that, that, that was crazy. And then um, what, what other awards? Uh, Grammy. The Grammys. The Grammys. I was looking that's at this the list. World's mo- I think Nobel is not the world's most important one. Ah. For people, it's the Grammys. The, grammar, the, the Grandmas. The Grammaries, the, gr- the, gra- the, the awards for best grammar used in a the, sentence. The memories, the <laughs> awards for best... B- boobs. Boobs. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't be racist. Hashtag, no. Hashtag me too. What? Racist. Misogynist. But also don't be racist. Yeah, don't be racist. It's important, Just, it's important to be n- not racist and misogynist. Um, yeah, have you... Like this This list, I... It's made me... Because re- I love... I do love watching the Grammys because they usually... Do you always, uh, do you always watch it live? I try to. I don't think I did last year cause for some reason. All this year, yeah. It's, a, it's in January, I think, every year, and I don't think I did this year for some reason. But I do try to watch it every year, uh-huh. um, and I really enjoy it because they have a lot of like classic rock and old school artists come and perform, and they'll do like the mo- more in memoriam award, and they'll do like the for dead people. Yeah, the, like the musicians who died who this year. Died? Yeah, they do like that. They tribute. Mm. Um, who or, have died? Yeah. They do. Who has died this year? Last year was. Remember last year, everybody was last like. Last year and the year oh, before was so, nuts. So many people were dying. Everybody was saying, oh, what's happening? Everybody's dying. Yeah. Everybody dies every year, but yeah. only those years the celebrities were dying. Like the real big ones? Yeah. Because I don't know who. Uh, I'm sure someone will come to me. Because last year, Tom Petty died. Yeah. David Casey died last year, and not enough people <laughs> were sad. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> They they also do like the Lifetime Achievement Award or whatever, and they'll oh, have like yeah. a, a real good heritage artist. So I don't know those. I'm sure if I scrolled down the other card, I'd find out. Or well, maybe they're not released yet. But I looked at the the nominees this year. And I just don't even know half these people. Like really, I feel like a lot of the artists that are on that I recognise are people that have been around for ten years. But the newer artists, I just have no idea. They're not like like we're talking about BTS. Like they're not crossing over and making my life like making an impact in my life as much as because yeah. I really love music and pop music and I try to stay current yeah. and up to date. I work real groovy for crying out loud. But a lot of these people, I just don't know who they are. Like I'm like these people are not. Wh- what are the names? I might know them. I'm hip. I'm gonna have a look. Um, but I I do know that uh, Kendrick Lamar got lots of uh, nominations. He's, he's great. Cardi B got some. More, Morin Morris, Marin Morris. Oh man, she's great. 
Do you, she or him? Do you, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sean Mendes. Know who Sean Mendes is? Sean Mendes. Casey Mus Musgraves. Must Graves. What does that mean? I don't know. You should grave. Must grave. Must grave. It's, it's must grave. But oh, like the musk, like the musk of a man. Elon Musk grave. <laughs> Um, who are Lady Gaga, which is great. She's and uh, Mark Ronson, who's a great producer. He helped out on Lady Gaga stuff, which is cool. Um, Bradley Cooper's in there. Fallout Boy, Pete Wentz. They've they've received a nomination. Fallout Boy, yeah. they're not oh, new ones. The Backstreet Boys. For what? I don't. What did they get? Don't go breaking my heart. I don't know. I've, I don't know whether it's the Elton John version. But it's like it's Back from the Dead award or something. Nick Carter tweeted, "I'm in complete shock." Hashtag Grammy nominations. Hashtag oh, Grammys. Shit. Hashtag grateful. Oh, I'm sure Ariana Grande. Mac will. Miller died this year. Oh, he's one. Mac he's Miller. one. That he, he will will be. Yeah, who died this year? Burt Reynolds, but he's not a singer. Do an in memoriam episode. Neil Simon. Isn't he the um, playwright? Yeah, the playwright. H e r her music. I have no idea who that is. Her music. H E R music. Aretha Franklin. Oh, Are- Are- Urethra <laughs> Franklin. Urethra. Um, no, yeah, she, I'm she not did, Ithra, she did pass away. She You're passed right. away? You're right. That's the biggest name that passed away, I think. Camila Cabello. What? She, she's from Fifth Harmony, and she also endorses sketches and plays in the store on Queen Street. Sounds like an ice cream it, flavor. Do you know what it sounds like? Caramello. Every time, like I caramello chocolate. Yeah. Every time I hear Camila Cabello, I'm like, yeah. yum! I could go for some. Dairy that's milk a chocolate. that's a interest. That's a very good name. Yeah. I wonder if it's her real. Tony name. Braxton. I'm just Tony like, Braxton. Yeah. I I thought that. What? I, I, she's alive. I, I maybe it's post humorous. Post humorous? Yeah. Like you laugh and then no, you give them an oh award? My, oh my god, no. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's when you did and then they give you an award. Are you did. Hum- humorous you or did. something. Humorous. Posthumous. John- it's called posthumous. I've I've really <laughs> never heard that. I've I sort of heard it pronounced post humorous. Post humorous? <laughs> I swear I've It's no like idea. an award for a dead comedian. Yeah. I thought it was who knows? I, I definitely look like an idiot now, but it's fine. It's an urban dictionary thing. Post-humorous, when you think of a good pun, <laughs> <laughs> joke, punchline, or one-liner after the opportune moment of delivery. Oh. It's like late comedy. Posthumous. It's called posthumous. I believe you. I, w- I was probably wrong. Oh, my God. Well, it's a great... Uh, yeah. Eminem was quite crazy uh, at the beginning of the year. Mm. Most uh, a couple of his songs, he said that he doesn't like the Grammys. I'm not going to go in the Grammys. They always give it to someone who nobody knows and they don't recognize the talent. They're shit, fuck, motherfucker, fuck. Is, is that the beginning of a <laughs> Eminem song? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I will definitely watch though. I love watching the Grammys. Mm-hmm. I'm sure like Ariana Grande will be performing and Beyonce will be performing. She'll definitely perform that song with uh, her five kids. Or thank you. Next. Yeah, you know? definitely. Definitely. I've been, I've been facing so much shit. She's been, I've been to her, her, hearing her interviews where she's been crying and shit. Really? Yeah. Aww. So, they, they live... Anyway, we do have a different story, but I need to talk about this shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, um, I saw a, a, a documentary last night. It's called American Meme. Mm. It's on Netflix. Is that memes? No. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's about uh, so the, the famous social influencers. Oh. Right? So it shows... So who who do you think is like the big uh, grand founder of this f- whole influencer thing? Mm, could it be like YouTubers? No, no, no. Who, who a person? Oh, I don't know. Who? Just think about it. I don't know who. Just think, just give us a guess. Give us a guess. I don't know who would be the biggest influencer, though. Like, I who know. Who started it? I don't know. American lady. Ellen DeGeneres? Hotel. Paris Hilton? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she started it. Yeah, she's kind of uh, uh, kind of considered as one of the biggest ones who have. Um, let me just see the cast of it, and I'll show you. That's hot. Yeah. So there's <laughs> uh, it. 
it was so amazing to watch this one. People are uh, people are famous for no particular talent, right? But obviously, Paris Hilton is quite a talent because she had changed, <laughs> she, because she came in as like a celebrity socialite yeah, and all that. Yeah. She uh, earned all that money out of that. But then what happened is you know the sex tape came out. You know, you she had a sex tape. Kim Kardashian? No, Paris Hilton. Oh, does she have one as well? Yeah. Oh. Guess. This will blow your mind. Okay. okay. Kim Kardashian yeah. was a intern. Yeah. Of I, Paris. It's not, oh, I knew that. Fuck. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, but no, it yeah. It blew my but mind. But they were, yeah, they were friends. And like, yeah, she was the intern and stuff. And Man, that's how it was, she got her start by like hanging and then, out with them. Exactly. And she does the same thing. And there was like a sex tape there as well. Mm. But uh, the, the sex tape kind of ruined... Paris Hilton in the beginning and then she came back again. Yeah. And now she's like a biggest Instagram and YouTube star. Is she? Yeah, yeah. She's got, but she's like an un- proper entrepreneur as well. So if that yeah. fame falls away, she's earned enough money with the dog apparel, baby apparel, yeah. shoe apparel, fit foot apparel, apparel of all types, perfumes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all that shit. She, because I don't keep up with Paris Olsen, but she does tweet a lot, but she does kind of like ironic meme tweets about herself and everyone freaks out and they're like, yeah. Because she had a great song called, have you heard Stars Are Blind? No. Is this called Stars Are Blind? She had a song? Yeah. And it's actually like good. Like it's a pop song, but it's actually Ah, actually like kind of. Stars are blind. Stars are blind. Planets have eyes. Tick, 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 tick. Moon is dead. Anyway, it's okay. I just thought I'd let you just kind of fizzle out, <laughs> tie yourself out. So it has uh, interviews. This American meme has interviewed with all these people. Um, then DJ Khaled, he's <laughs> big on uh, Snapchat. Yeah, he is. He's always talking to God all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Like, oh, bless the big one. The bless the big one. I don't like him. Uh, then Dane Cook. Oh, he's yeah. He's a comedian. He was yeah. a big influencer. And he became famous due to... Uh, Sna- what was the what was the thing before Vine? Uh, Facebook? Was it Vine or oh, MySpace? MySpace. You know, he became famous through MySpace. Yeah. Brittany Furland. No idea. Some lady. Some lady uh, called Brittany. Krilly Bichutsky. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you call me? So he's he's called Slut Whisperer <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he goes. It's he, my favorite kind of ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Slut whisper, <laughs> and he organizes different parties, and yeah. there he—that's he, all he does. He just goes to different parties with champagnes, and then pops those champagnes on girls' faces and <laughs> boobs and asses because it, you know, they—they they look lux, like a it's sexual because it's it it makes like a foamy thing on the face, and I don't know why it's become very famous because of that. Ah. And in the end, it turned out that they are all sad people. In the end, mm. they're very sad and alone and all that. It's a very interesting uh, documentary. You should uh, yeah. give it a go-ski. I'm going to watch it. Then What's it called? What's the name? American Meme. Okay. I'm going to look at that. Yeah. It's not about memes. But it's kind of, you know, meme. They are kind of memes. They are memes you within know? themselves. Yeah. They've so memed they, themselves. They're famous for a while and then they just go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So Josh, uh, Josh or, or Trofsky... He's the fat Jewish. Right, 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 He's in there as well. And so he he's quite a big on Instagram and YouTube and he did them, you know. Now he's a big, he has a big rosé wine empire. Wow. You know? Just so. from having an Instagram. Because yeah. I I heard someone talking about how the fat Jewish was real funny and I was like, oh, cool. And so I looked him up and I was like, he just reposts other jokes from yeah, people's that's, accounts. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's like, a big scandal for him that he, he uh, yeah. I was he, like, this isn't exciting or cool. I can just see all of this anywhere. Like, yeah. this isn't specific content. It's, like, uh, Yeah, I don't know. He, he Sometimes he does some original ones, but th- that's one of the big things that uh, that is against him that was shown in the documentary. Right. That he's kind of, there's a big plagiaristic thing in him that he just takes other people's things and put his name on it. And, but now he says that he does credit them. Yeah. I don't know. Even know. if he does, I'm like, this is still dumb because it's just like sheared memes. Like yeah. it's like it's, it's just crazy. a meme. Pa- it's not, you know. And they, they earn so much money. Yeah. Fuck. Well, somebody was saying, f- on average, their rate is uh, per post fifty thousand dollars per post of you know having a product in there or something. That's crazy. Right? I could use that money. <laughs> well, one of the persons was saying that the maximum that they've gotten is uh, one hundred fifty thousand for a post. 
I, I'm insane. shook, man. I'm so shook. Yeah, like the baby, like you're shook, like I shook you like a baby. Yeah, and like then you your were brain shook, is damaged. Like you were shaking as a child, Ed Burn, <laughs> flathead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. A flathead, flat Ed. Flat Ed Truther. <laughs> oh, I will watch that. That seems really interesting. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's the time? Holy shit! We gotta go to a comedy gig. Gotta bounce, man. Bounce, baby, bounce. All right. See, so. Oh wait, what? What? So um. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's start. The, Do you want me to? Okay. Okay. I'll start one. Fu- funeral down. procession. Yeah. A funeral processions. Um. If you guys liked what you heard <laughs> uh you can follow us on social media if you'd like mm. get at us um yeah. we are b- at baboon yodel on pretty much everything so yeah. instagram facebook twitter you can email us uh baboon yodel at gmail.com yeah we want to be like a paris hilton yeah like, we yeah just retweet yeah. us and you know just I- i'll wear her clothes and stuff yeah shit, you yeah know? We'll, we'll get her to sponsor us, us yeah. she'll she'll be the influencer to our influencer yeah and she'll uh and we'll make money as well so okay. just okay just help us out and we'll become influencers because yeah. we are your favorite jesus you will listen to everything we say love this is a trance god <laughs> see you guys love next week you. praise you Shut up, Ed. <laughs> <laughs>